Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking, and today I'm going to show you how to make apple dash, which uh, happens to be one of my favorite breakfast foods. Um, it's also PA Dutch from the Amish and Mennonite communities. However, my family actually didn't get it from them. My family actually had it in our family uh, from my dad's side. His mother grew up in Switzerland, uh, near Interlaken. Uh, which is near Bern, and when they came over to this country at the turn of the century, um, early like 1906, somewhere in there, when they came over, uh, these recipes came along with them. So this is probably a pretty German dish overall, but it's been in my family all this time, even before uh, knowing about the Amish and Mennonite communities that I grew up into. So I think that's sort of neat to think about that. <clears throat> What is apple datch? Apple datch is a cross between a thick crepe and a pancake. It's, um, it's a lot thicker than a, than a nice thin crepe is, but it's much eggier than a pancake is. Uh, fritters are similar, but use baking powder so they rise and are more doughy. Uh, these are not. These are more eggy. And I might also add that you can use um, corn in the place of, of apples, uh, like corn fritters, corn datch. Uh, that's more towards the end of summer. Uh, apple datch, I make a lot in the fall as well. Um, but I'm going to mix it up here and fry it up, and you can see what apple datch is like. It's really good. So for our apple datch, we start out with four eggs. I'll whisk them up good. Okay, and to the uh, whisked up eggs, I'm going to add half a cup to two-thirds cup of milk and a half a cup, or a little better, of flour, big pinch of, salt, uh, of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Mix this up really good. Make a little bit of a, of a batter here. And it's okay if it's, uh, it's a little lumpy, it's, that's perfectly fine. Just whisk that up good. And then uh, add two small or medium sized diced apples. That comes out to almost, eh, it's better than one cup, probably close to two cups more or less as your taste desires and I'm going to give that a stir get all the apple integrated in there you go and we'll get our pan heated and we'll start frying this up okay our pan is hot and I'm going to start frying these up And there's no pretty way to make these. Um, however they turn out is however they turn out. <laughs> Even out my apples there a little bit. And I'm gonna get a plate to turn them out on. Plate fry up here. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and bring this in closer here. Okay. Now, as, this, as the edges here get opaque and you start to see little bubbles towards the middle, that's when you can go and flip it over. You see they're lightly brown. That's pretty much how you, exactly how you want them to look. Give them a minute or so here on the uh, opposite side and let that cook.
I know it's not fancy food, but it's really good food. Um, you know, a lot of the rural families and, and poorer families may do with what they had, but a lot of it was really good. Um, my, my own farm family, I mean, we, we didn't waste anything. You, you made everything up. It was never waste. And I think it's a really good way to be, not to be wasteful. Okay, let's see what the other side looks at. See? It's all cooked and opaque. Pretty tender, too. But see, you can just see they're, they're just a big, eggy cake. Not even so cakey. And I'll get the next ones going. And I'm just going to keep frying these up. These a little bit smaller. And the way I like to eat them, and these, these are great brunch item too, although we sometimes do um, uh, breakfast for supper. But one of my favorite ways to eat these, believe it or not, instead of maple syrup, because I know you know I'm all about maple syrup, is a little bit of powdered sugar. Just across the top like this. That just sets off the apple in it really well. Now when I make corn fritters, um, those I do eat with syrup. Hang on here, I'm gonna Getting ready to put my, there you can see the cake's a little bit better. My pan's all the way hot. You can see how nice and gold these look. <clears throat> and I might add, these go really great, really great with scrapple or good bacon pepper crusted bacon especially because it really sets off the sweetness of the apples and there you can see what a couple more look like separate turned over and that's Apple Dash. Like I said, you can make this with corn. Um, it's also very good. I would say use about the same same ratio of corn as you do apples for this. But it's really good, and that's really good with ham or, or um, you know other pork products, sausage. It's really good, and that's good for any time either. Um, but when sweet corn comes in the season here, you know in August, that's something that we'll make a lot. So, hmm, really gotta try this. So now you know about Scrapple, and now you know about Apple Dash, and now you know how to put them together. So, until next time, see you later.